Okay. Let's go back. So, Vicar. Vicky. Can I call you Vicky? Vicky? Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> <laughs> you sure curse an awful fucking lot. That's what I think too. Look who's talking. I'm not a fucking priest. <laughs> and thank the architect for that. Oh, that's hilarious. I love it. And welcome back, everybody, to uh, the Outer Worlds. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're ready to start. Uh, we did go back to the ship. I slept. I ate a drink. And then we ran back here, and now we're going to go down below, and apparently we have to fight some mantis worm thingamadoodles down here. And then we have to flip a switch to help the engineer with installing the radiator parts. So if you guys enjoyed this episode... Grateful if you did. I've got this thing about giant insects. Giant insects. What the hell is that? Uh, I don't even know what that is. I guess we're going to find out here in a second, aren't we? Oh, I should probably load my weapon. Might be a good idea. Double incoming, Captain. Nice one. Nice one. Oh shit! Ah! You guys okay? Okay. Where's that thing at? I don't even see it. Oh, there it is. We got trouble. I can't I can't shoot it through the railing apparently. Okay. Well, uh, let's just kind of keep an eye on that thing. Whoa, 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 what the hell was that? Did I just get too close to those things? Oh, yeah, 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 okay, they're hot. <laughs> Make him regret it. Okay. They got the drop on us. Okay. Bad news. Diagnostic says their circuit boards are fused from the heat, so they're not too picky about who they kill next. Sneak past if you can. Shoot back if you need to. I can always fix them later. So, she's talking about mechs, right? I think that's what she meant. Is there anything up here to loot? Nothing on that guy. Oh, here's a couple things. Necklace and a bin. Mag picks, those are good. Ow, 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 ow. Anything over here? Oh, yeah, right here. Oh, there's nothing in there. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Come through. All right. Nothing up there. Okay, let's get... Uh... Okay. So that looks like there's four enemies on the compass. Care him. Yeah, 
Anything in there? Nope, nothing I can see. That door's barred. Okay, we got two enemies up here. they're not up here there oh is that is that thing alive manta manti plasma gland i'm sure this plasma gland would be useful to someone somewhere but i'm not sure who or what for i'd just sell it okay so it's just junk oh okay got the parts here we go down they go yeah, there's three more enemies one's coming down this way that's the last of them uh, I don't think so I think there's one more No manti manti th gland thing madoodles on him. Let's unbar the door here. Take all of that stuff and all of that stuff. Can't quite get to that chest for. Are we supposed to like jump up on something to get up there? Hmm. Maybe we can get to it from up there. So how do we get up there? Oh, we were up there earlier. Yeah. We checked these, right? Yeah. What? There we go. <laughs> a tech kit. Increases your tech skills. Okay, cool. I don't know if we'll actually use that, but we can sell it, so. Okay, here we go. Cycle droplet pumps. Warning, lithium fluid pressure at 23%. Solid state radiators at 102% capacity. PCM heats, heat sinks at 98% capacity. Ambient station temperature is 8 degrees Celsius. Machinery shaft temperature is 29 degrees Celsius. 8 degrees Celsius. I'm not sure what, what that is off the top of my head. Let's Google. Let's do the Google converter because I'm curious. Celsius to Fahrenheit. 8 degrees Celsius is... It's only 46 degrees Fahrenheit. What? That's not... That's cold. Huh, I don't know. All right. Well, anyway, um, cycle droplet pumps. Non-expendable personnel must exit the maintenance shaft before activating the cycling protocol. <laughs> Non-expendable. Okay. Logs. Cobbled together. 
The staff is getting restless. <coughs> excuse me, restless. Workaround and half-cocked solutions are all we've got to mend Groundbreaker's bones. In many cases, we can't revive one system without cannibalizing another. Grandma lived with that reality, and so will I. I can rally our spirits, but what happens when I'm not around? Groundbreaker's real test will be seen if our independence outlasts me. I'll take that bet. JT. Old plans, new problems. Found some of Chief Guying's old schematics. Groundbreaker must have taken a beating during the crossing because she spent half of her career patching it up. A lot of corners cut when they put this place together. Among her papers, I also found the layout of a hangar that doesn't match any of my docks, something that might have gotten sealed off along the way, like blood cells isolating an infection. I hate to put sentiment down in print, but every time I open a panel or find some workaround in the guts of this old bird, it's like I can feel you reaching out to me from the past, Grandma. Okay, so apparently a hangar that's sealed off. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder if, uh... Jack, the temperatures are dropping. Stop by once you found your way out of there. Groundbreaker owes you things. Okay. Um... Hmm. I wonder if we could find that, that place. This, uh, hidden, uh, hangar that they were talking about. We checked that already. Okay, well, let's go on back and talk to uh, Engineer Jun Lei. These things are no longer super, super hot, so that's good. Ow! That hurt. Did we look at this? Archive logs and transmissions. Arrival confirmation. To HHB, Earth HQ, transmitted via probe archived at source. It's my honor to report that Groundbreaker has successfully arrived at the Larange Point. Excuse me. Having released our cargo of prefab housing, soldiers and supplies at their intended colony worlds. May they prosper and expand. Now that stages one and two of the mission have been carried out, my family will take ownership of the Groundbreaker as specified in our contract. Uh, keeping the ship in active duty as an independent trading post, repair stop, and cargo bay. I'd be remiss if I closed this transmission without sending my hopes and best wishes back to Earth. There's so much ahead of us, but we'll never forget what we left behind. Chief Gaiin. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but we're going to call it Gaiin until we find out different. Maybe it's Guiyin. A stern reminder. Some very rich and unsavory elements among our colonial neighbors seem to have the wrong idea about why I flew us out here. It wasn't for a nine-figure blood money salary and a Spacer's Choice logo stamped on my ass. It wasn't to nickel and dime passing ships out of their last bit. Groundbreaker has no role in the success or failure of Halcyon's corporate entities, period. I negotiated that understanding and clearly outlined it in writing before I ever set foot on this ship. If anyone wants to dispute or compromise our independence, they will answer to Tennyson. For a family operation, even when the last Tennyson falls, Groundbreaker will, rem re will remember us and defend its freedom accordingly. All right, return to route. There we go. Okay, let's go back. So, Vicar, Vicky, can I call you Vicky? Vicky? Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> <laughs> For a vicar, you sure curse an awful fucking lot. That's what I think, too. Look who's talking. <laughs> I'm not a fucking priest. <laughs> and thank the architect for that. Oh, that's hilarious. I love it. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go uh, talk to our engineer lady friend. You'd think they'd let me take some of this stuff now, after everything we've done for the ship. Okay, let's put this thing away so I don't accidentally shoot somebody. Can we look at this? Daily checklist. Uh, radiator, plumbing, life support, crew, blah, blah, blah. Okay, personal files, back bays. More complaints about the state of the bay. I already told the Mardats they're free to flush out uh, Mac Red and his outlaws. They're so knotted up seeking warrants and paper justifications that they want someone else to solve all their problems off the record. Sorry, boys, not my job. Promenade status. Morale has dipped 80% since Martin Callahan showed up. It's that damn mask. Oh, right. He's like the Spacer's Choice guy. Uh, found another listening device in my office. The thing was the size of a toss ball with a card, uh, with a cord leading all the way back to sublight. Subtle as always, Lilia. Could have sworn the auto mechanical sh chef arrived with a, com with a company tech. 
No record of the guy leaving the station. We'll have to look into it. No sworn to honor my captain's show. Huh, okay. Sprat infestation at the rest and go is getting out of hand. Ethel better not ranch better not be ranching those critters again, or I swear by law, I'll airlock her stall. Uh, okay. Messages. From Udom Bedford, the implications of your accusations cause my breath to hitch in my throat. I am certain that we can arrive at an agreeable understanding. For what is a board liaison, if not a facilitator of handshakes between great powers, much like the board and yourself? When you do decide to return to the neg negotiations table, consider once again the embassy expansion plans I laid out. Gestures of good faith do not go unpaid. So he wants to expand his embassy on the groundbreaker. From Tennyson to Bedford. The board rejected my request for new radiator parts, again, even after I greased their wheels with some targeted donations. Funny thing, when I used my admin privileges to survey the outgoing comps, I noticed some activity from your office. You chose your words carefully, but I plucked a juicy phrase from the transcript. Let the frog boil a while longer, and now I have no radiator parts. You're playing with our lives. Did they install you on my ship just to get under my skin, or are you pulling this shit for fun? Hmm, interesting. Okay. So, is that everything? Yeah, that was the checklist. That was the personnel files. And messages. Okay. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. All right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. Maybe I'll get like a bonus? If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc Imfuru to sell you our premium meds. Imfuru. Okay. Um, what's it like being a man right here? Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget. Yeah, that would suck. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. The ship is a family business? Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gein, kept it together Gein. during crossing okay. and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from chief engineer to captain. Was it a big change, that transition to command? It was different knowing that I couldn't turn to anyone who could answer the tough questions for me. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennyson's know about. Okay, where's the self-destruct mechanism? Why would I ask her that, I wonder? Aren't you a little young to be training a successor? You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? <laughs> I nope. don't think so. That's good. Good question. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. Well, why don't you find some nice man and marry him so you can have a little Tennyson? Uh, I, I guess I'll ask this. I'm not sure why I would ask her this, but let's just see what she says. I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. Uh, yeah, it was a I joke. I that thing years ago. Now it brews a stim that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. Oh, okay. Um, back to my other questions. You've got my attention. You don't have a lot of faith in the board. You're right. I don't. The board is after two things. Bits and power. And they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. You must not like Una Bedford very much. How do you keep the board at a safe distance? Yeah. I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. You must not like Udom Bedford very much. I'd like to think of myself as a nice person, but if that gaudy embassy of his was on fire, I might hold my breath a moment before activating the sprinkler system. The board wants control over Groundbreaker, and leeches like Udom Bedford will do anything to please their corporate masters. Back to my other questions. You got my attention. Uh, okay, that's it. All right, we got a level and a perk. So, oh, excuse me. Very nice. All right. So, uh, let's see. What are we going to do next? Uh, uh, yeah, let's uh, actually level up here. So, again, I'm just going to kind of keep doing what I've been doing. 
uh, get enraged and dialogue. Dialogue served us pretty well uh, in that last encounter with a crazy dude down below. Um, three, one, and one. Okay, and now we've got a perk. So let's apply that. So what are we what are we doing here? We've taken all of those. There was one other one that I wanted to uh, to take too. 25 damage when alone in a party, 25 walk speed, 25 sprint speed, companion crit chance, additional ammo stock on vendors, additional consumable and general stock on vendors, carrying capacity, unlock ability fast travel when encumbered, 50% XP from companion kills, 20% le less vendor prices. Okay, there's not, you know, really anything else in here that really floats my boat. Um, so let's look at tier two movement penalty to accuracy, uh, time dilation restored per kill, science weapon damage, movement speed during time dilation, purpose bonus to extra headshot, weak spot damage, interactable highlight range, vendor buying price, chance to reset a companion ability cooldown on each critical hit. Uh, chance to reset a companion ability cooldown when using the other companion's ability. Companion ability cooldowns for each of your kills. Wait a minute, how do I... How do I use my companion's abilities? I must have missed that. Not... Yeah, I'm not sure how to do that unless... Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. 15% health restored per kill. 50% consumable weight. S significantly reduce the weight of consumables. Carrying capacity bonus from companions and dialogue skills. All right. Well, none of this is like really, really jumping out at me, uh, except for maybe the headshot damage one. Science weapon damage. Movement penalty to accuracy. And that's not bad either. I think let's go with the headshot damage one. None of those, like, you know, because of the fact that we're playing on on uh, Supernova. So, you know, anything that, like, fast travel when encumbered or, you know, I'm not really using the companions much in combat because I'm afraid I'm gonna they're going to get killed like Parvati did. There's not a whole lot of, of options that are really jumping out at me. So... You know, we'll go with we'll go with those and see. Okay, so uh, Ellie, does Ellie also have a perk? Yes, she does. All right, let's. We gave her the threat generated. Now let's also give her more health. What? Are, wait, what does this do? Range damage, armor rating, melee damage, heal amount granted by the medical inhaler. That oh boy, that wouldn't be bad either. But I think we need to focus on getting you know getting their health up and there's you know their threat down so that's going to be the highest priority right now vicar max uh, same thing let's give him more health too okay all right journal so where are we at with our quests weapons from the void so we have to look in Gladys's shop for records. This is a distress signal recording on our ship. And this is somewhere we have to leave. So the only thing I guess we have left to do <clears throat> on the ship is try and find the stuff in Gladys's office and hack a security terminal. Finding a, a Mardan ID cartridge will allow you to use the holographic shroud Phoenix told you about to enter and avoid hostilities. Okay, so, yeah, I guess, um, let's just see, let's go back to this weapons from the void thing. And go back into Gladys's shop and just kind of see what that's all about. What are you? Welcome. Looking to give a beating or take? Are you the... You're the armor guy, right? Oh, no, I guess you've got all kinds of stuff. 
Oh, okay, so you just have melee. Melee and armor. All right. Hey, I don't think I want to buy any of that. Um, you know what we could do, though? Sell hey, to him. Look who it is. Uh, let's see. What, okay, so let's take a look at our junk. No, sell. Okay, yeah, let's sell all of this stuff. So, hold Z. That's our ammo. Toss ball blocker. Yeah, let's sell this. We got another assault rifle. Uh, which I suppose we could give to the dock. And we might do that, because she's... <clears throat> I don't know that the pistol she has is all that great. Well, now nah, let's just sell this. Let's just sell this. Oh, where do we get those from? Welder's goggles. Engineering plus 15, perception minus one. And these are like, I guess the little sun flare thing modules mean they're like epics or something like that. But from what I've seen so far, these epic, so-called epics are not, still not, you know, it's not like we can sell them for a whole lot of money. So I guess we'll hang on to that for now. Okay, let's go. You, How much cash do I have? I've got 3622 now. Can I buy one of those snipers? I really want a sniper rifle. Watch me buy it, and then as soon as I buy it... Where does that go? Waste disposal. As soon as I buy it, we'll probably find one somewhere. Okay, hold on. Did we go in here? We can pick this lock. Hmm. What do we have here? Who wants to play an impromptu toss ball match? Not me. No one? Really? Yeah, really. Where is this going? Wow, look at all this loot. I'll take it. That was nice. So this just leads up to this area. Oh, look at this, look at this. Look at this, we got stuff up here. Nice. What are you guys doing, falling down? Uh, uh, uh. I guess I guess we can't go any further than that. It's not letting me jump up here. Yeah, we got like an invisible wall thing going on or something. Pardon me, excuse me. Okay. All right, let's go down this way. That's the door we came out of. Help! I'm locked in here. Can you get me out? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what this is all about. that a relief you oh that's gross oh jeez that's terrible uh what do you have to say for yourself you have no idea how good the air on groundbreaker smells until you've been trapped in a tiny bathroom with an overflowing toilet yeah i can believe that Thanks again friend what what happened how long have you been in there i did you a favor what are you going to do for me oh uh, yeah what happened what usually happens on this partially pressurized rust bucket something broke well actually two things broke First, the damn toilet overflowed. When I came to clean that up, the damn door decided to close and lock on me. Oh, that sucks. How long were you in there? Time stood still. I was aware of nothing but the smell. <laughs> Ugh, could have been days. Okay. Ah, shit. That means I haven't clocked out in days. Song is going to have my ass for wage theft. Wage theft? What? Um, yeah, you know, you probably should do something for me uh, after freeing you from this literal shithole. You're going to shake me down after I was trapped in a shit-covered bathroom? <laughs> is that how it is? Um, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be nice. I suppose you've been through enough. Damn right I have. You scare me a little, mister. <laughs> oh, don't stand in it. Goodness gracious. Dude, you need to go wash your hands, man. Take a shower or something. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Um, 
Okay, this is a new area here. Oh shit. I have your back, Captain. We didn't kill him? I'm warmed up now. And you guys didn't even do anything. I don't want you to do anything. You're gonna get yourself killed. What's out here? Oh, we got a secret. Nice and easy. We found a secret. No, we didn't. <laughs> it just led back to the same place. Okay. Manta pillar plasma gland. Uh. Nothing in those play thingy madoodles. That guy met his demise. Impact hammer. Okay, there's th something for us to examine. Let's make sure we've fully looted everything first before we do that. Okay. Work order. Vera says the Lost Hope's plumbing is acting up again. Take a gander at the usual spot. While you're there, someone locked their key behind a door. It's the locked one. Once you're ready for a challenge, come back and we'll discuss the radius for the hundredth time. Uh, all right. I think this is a typo. This should say the groundbreaker, not the Lost Hope, because the Lost Hope is the is the ship that you know we we you know that we were on, frozen. This should say the groundbreaker. Yeah, that's a typo. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. So that kind of reinforces the story of the guy getting you know locked up in the toilet, I guess. Um, did we miss something over here? Another door. I want to go back out here for a second. Seems to me like there sh should be something more to... Unless this was to sneak around the Manta Caterpillar do doohickeys. I'll bet you that's what it was for. Okay. Whoop. Okay. Do those guys like... What the hell? They must keep falling down or something. Alright, that's the door that was blocked. Um, Alright, let's go down here. Max, you're always going on about destiny. What did your mother do? If you must know, my late mother was a laborer, Dr. Fenhill. And your father? The same. And you ended up a preacher how? The universe works in mysterious ways. Where there is a deficit, it seeks to provide an abundance. Say a church is attacked by marauders and sustains casualties. The replacement clergy must arise from somewhere. Okay. Oh, wow, look at this stuff. Thank you very much. Steel Lost Hope bar key card. Mm. Okay. Bar key card. A tactical shoddy. Wow. There's a lot of stuff in here. Goodness gracious. Thug kit. What's that? Increases your melee and defense skills. Oh, okay, cool. Reactive Kinematic Shield Protector? When your health drops too low, this mod makes you temporarily invulnerable and increases your regeneration for a short time. This effect has a cooldown. Oh, that could be useful. Yeah, we should probably look at maybe installing that on our armor when we get back to our, our ship. Cool. Okay. Unlock with the key card. Right on. Anything else back here? Okay. They're like going, how, where the hell are you doing back there? 
Okay, what's that? That takes us back to Gladys. Where does this take us? This must be the kitchen, right? Okay. And where does this go? Into the bathroom? We don't want to get stuck in here. Did we already talk to you? Hey, Ellie. Having your usuals? Not today. I'm on the job. Never thought I'd see the day. A new face. What's your pleasure, stranger? Um, let me see what you got for sale. Oh, all the traders in the system come through here. Anything interesting? Only the usual. Marauders all over space. You ever wonder how folk who can't figure the bleeding edge technology of a spoon can manage to get ships into space? Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, all right. What do you got for sale? What ain't I got? Okay, I want to s sell some stuff to her. We got we got a nice discount now. So basically, we want to sell like all alcohol because I just I don't use it. Fizzy tea, mind attributes, trip teas, uh, energy brew. There's an alcohol. Um, yeah, let's sell any junk we have, too. What's the sell key? It's E. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sell all of that. Nanner Spank. Banana Reminisce and Carbonated Beverage. Okay. So, yeah, most I, I've been selling, like, alcohol and tobacco stuff because they have debuffs. And I mostly just keep the stuff that... Doesn't have debuffs. And antibiotics cream. <laughs> uh, okay. So that doesn't seem to have a debuff. Spacer's Chaw. Yeah, let's sell that. This is tobacco here, right? Yeah. We'll sell all of those, and that's food. We'll sell the zero G. We'll keep the purple berry punch. Got a bunch of waters now. That's good. Okay. I think that's good. I think that's good. Is there a couple of these we might want to sell? Tech kit. Mr. Ouch. I don't think I want to sell stuff unless I have duplicates of them. And I don't remember what I have back on the ship, so that's probably something I'll just do off camera anyway. All right, guys. Well, we are out of time, so we're going to wrap up the episode here. And uh, as usual, we'll just continue right where we left off. Uh, we're going to go back to talk to Gladys here in the next episode. Phineas's weapon. And then we'll go from there. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.